Rawr, zombie brains. No, not really. That was that was really professional of me. Well, I'm not professional. Goodbye, YouTube. How's it going, everybody? Yeah, it's been about what three, four days since I've last uploaded. Uh, reasons are Friday work, Saturday work, girlfriend, birthday, went out to my family, Sunday girlfriend, and yeah, that's really I just been busy with my personal life because you know personal life comes first before all this. But I do enjoy narrating all that. Why do you guys think I upload daily? But just probably be prepared for me to like go a couple days without uploading just because of my work schedule. What the, I don't really have a schedule. But just, yeah, if there's some nights that I, I don't upload, it's because I just come home from work too tired. And then I actually started college today, so that's going to be taking up my time too. But yeah, I actually hit 8,000 subscribers on Friday, and I want to give a big thanks to everybody for getting me up to this point. Next one is going to be 9,000, 9,000, <laughs> 9,000, and then the big five-digit number after that, which is 10,000 subscribers, and... I'm hoping to hit 10,000 by the end of this year and in order for me to do that I'm gonna need you guys to just continue doing what you're doing liking commenting favoriting watching sharing just doing what you normally do because it's really because of y'all that I'm even here at 8,000 subscribers and then going on to the road to 9,000 and I would definitely have a special for when I hit 10,000 subscribers so yeah, again thank you guys without y'all I would not be here and then with X and Y coming soon that's just gonna be awesome and ah oh, I'm just I'm in a really good mood. It just I've had a really good day today. And yeah, thank you guys. Anyways, I think that's all I really have to ramble on about. Uh, yeah, anyways, team preview. I know you see I have a Zangus. And the reason behind that is because I wanted to use Zangus and RU just to see how it did. And it's, it's been working out all right. It's, this was just more of a fun team that I made with Expert Belt, Magmortar, uh, Subsplit, Rotom, Offensive, Stealth Rocking, Aerodactyl. Standard Slow King and Specs Hand Growth. Now, looking at my opponent's team, it seems to be pretty standard, but it is very, very threatening. Because his whole team is a problem, really, except for Sand Slash. It's a Sand Slash, it doesn't really do much. So, yeah, basically, his whole team is a threat. Anyways, let's get this started. So, I'm gonna be leading off with my Slow King, thinking that he would want to lead off with the Sand Slash, but he actually ends up leading off with the Rotom. So, predicting him to go for the Volt Switch, I decide to go for the Thunder Wave to catch the possible incoming Excavalier or Sceptile, but no, he surprises me and goes straight for the Trick, which I was really not expecting. Then, this turn, because I am locked into Thunder Wave, I'm gonna switch directly into my Tangrowth. As he Volt Switches into the Magmortar, obviously, I don't wanna take a Fire Blast, so I'm gonna switch into my Slow King. Luckily for me, it turns out that he's actually Choice Specs as he goes for the Overheat. He misses, which honestly doesn't end up mattering at all because yeah you'll see so I go for the Thunder Wave predicting him to bring in the Sceptile but it actually brings in the Rotom but then I predict him to switch out which was really stupid on my part but he, but he ends up getting paralyzed so I guess it kind of worked out so this turn predicting him to Volt Switch I switch into my Tangrowth but it actually hard switches out into his Magmortar this turn obviously knowing that Rotom would not be able to take a Leaf Storm and look at th that did over that did a lot okay <laughs> that did a lot of damage to Magmortar like holy crap that was a resisted hit too Specs Tangrowth is a monster. So, I bring in my own Magmortar thinking that he would go for the Overheat this turn, but it actually ends up going for the Thunderbolt, obviously predicting me to bring in my Slow King. So, predicting him to switch out, I'm just going to go for the Fire Blast, get off a decent bit of damage on the Feraligator, and I, and I don't want to give him the chance to possibly set up a Sword Zant. So, I stay in going for the Thunder Wave as he knocks me out with the Aqua Jet. I can now get a free switch into my Tangrowth and go straight for the Hidden Power Rock on the off chance that he wanted to bring in the Excavalier so I could get off a huge hit on that. But he just decides to fodder off his Rotom considering the fact that it is paralyzed it's not going to be too helpful to him so as he brings in the magmortar i know slow king should be able to take any one hit that he wants to go for but he makes an over prediction by going for the overheat thankfully slow king going to be able to take that then this turn predicting him to switch out i decide to double out onto my zangus allowing me to get my toxic orb and i am adamant and this facade does a good amount of damage to that sand slash like honestly i didn't think it would be an easy to kill but yeah even after leftovers Sand Slash is out of here, so I'm just gonna go for it again as he decides to fodder off his for alligator. I guess because I have Tangrowth, he thought that he doesn't really have use for for alligator, which is understandable because Tangrowth can normally deal with for alligator. So as he brings in the Excavalier, I'm just gonna go for the close combat because I really wasn't too sure if a resisted facade or if a neutral close combat would do more. And I decided just to go for close combat. So I bring in my Aerodactyl, and I was really, really fixated on the fact that Earthquake was gonna knock out Excavalier, but no. I should have just gone for the Stone Edge, but knowing my luck, I would have missed, and just, yeah, th this battle is just really not going good for me right now. So 
I'm able to knock out a Scavalier as he brings in the Sceptile. I'm pretty positive I can live one Giga Drain. So I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball, trying to get off a bit of damage on the Sceptile. But it turns out that he has a Substitute, so I know I will be able to live this Giga Drain. But he pulls the Leaf Storm, which I did not see coming whatsoever. And he just destroys my Rotom. So I'm going to bring in my Tangrowth. I'm just going to go straight for the Hidden Power Rock because I know the amount of HP Sand Slash is at a resisted Hidden Power Rock coming from Specs Tangrowth will be an easy 2 kill because I have been in this situation before. So I'm able to get rid of Sand Slash. And then this turn, I know that the Switch Out into Slowking is entirely way too obvious. So I'm going to predict him to go for the Thunderbolt, stay in, go for the Hidden Power Rock, and I'm able to get rid of the Magmortar as he brings in the Sceptile. I don't know if I will be able to live a Hidden Power Ice or Fire. So I decided to switch into my Slow King just to be able to get Regenerator HP and knowing that I can take a Giga Drain I'm just gonna go for the Psy Shock now yes I could have gone for the Thunder Wave but if he had gone for the Substitute that really would have been bad for me thankfully though I'm gonna be able to get off a bit of damage on the Sceptile bringing him down to a point where I know that a Hidden Power Rock will be able to knock him out although it all comes down to whether or not I will be able to live this hit and I live on 1% allow me to knock him out with the Hidden Power Rock Making that the very, 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 very narrow 1 0 victory in my favor. See, man, it's battles like this that, like, really, really make me want to play Pokemon. And <laughs> that was definitely a good battle. Although, Substitute with Leaf Storm is a little bit odd, but hey, if it works for him, it works for him because it really caught me off guard. But yeah, uh, I apologize if the narration was a little bit off. As I said, it's been about three or four days since I last uploaded, so I have to kind of get back into the swing of things. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like leave a comment, subscribe to some more content, and with that, I will hopefully see you guys soon. So, later everybody.